New Ford Kyoga 2016 Review Can the updated Ford Kyoga keep pace with the growing number of modern crossover rivals? Verdict 3 Star While the stylish new Ford Kyoga is better looking than ever and is still good to drive, it's outclassed in the competitive family SUV segment. The Peugeot 3008 S interior is miles ahead and the seat Ateca is better to drive, while it's hard to find a standout feature for the Ford. It's well-equipped, practical, and stylish, but then again, so are its newer, more accomplished rivals. The current Ford Kyoga has been around since 2012, but Ford has finally seen fit to update the car with a new look and extra equipment. Can it keep the crossover competitive against a spate of more modern rivals? We've driven it to find out. Staying fresh is key in the Kyogis class, as the midsize SUV segment is one of the most popular in Europe. It rivals the Seat Ateca, Peugeot 3008, Renault Katjar and Nissan Qashqai among others, and with new contenders appearing regularly, there's a huge amount of choice for buyers here. Best crossovers on sale right now. The old Kyoga was starting to look rather dated, especially next to cars such as the recently launched 3008 so the new car's updated grille, new lights, and reshaped tailgate are a big plus. They're up to date with the sharp looking edge, and give the smaller SUV more presence on the road. Unfortunately, it's not the same story on the inside. While the changes in the cabin are welcome, the new Sync 3 touchscreen display is a big improvement over the fiddly old system, Newer cars such as the Seat and Peugeot are miles ahead of the Ford's dated, cheap-looking design. The materials in our titanium spec test car were of good quality, and the leather trim improves things, but there's too much scratchy black plastic and the button-heavy dashboard seems even uglier than before thanks to the neat, clean designs in newer rivals. It is easy to use, which beats the 3008's fiddly touchscreen system, but the Ateca proves that buttons and switches can help the dash look good as well as being functional. The seats electrically operated in our car are comfortable, however, and it's easy to find a good driving position in the Kyuga. While we've not tested the new model in the UK yet, ride quality over the rutted Slovenian roads on our test route was pretty good plus road noise is hushed, with only some wind noise intruding at higher speed. Yet while there's some body roll in corners thanks to that comfort-focused suspension, the Kyuga is still good to drive. The steering is well-weighted and consistent, the gear shift is smooth and satisfying and there's plenty of grip. That's thanks in part to the optional all-wheel drive system, but we'd avoid the setup as it adds to the cost of the car, around 1,500 pounds, and puts on extra weight which means you'll be paying more at the fuel pumps as well. Some buyers might need the extra traction, but if you're interested in a Kyuga as a school run special, then you're best off with a front wheel drive model. We tested a 148BHP 2.0 liter C diesel model, which in all wheel drive form returns 54.3 mpg and emits 135g slash km of CO2. That's not as good as the two wheel drive model which Ford claims will do 60.1 mpg while emitting only 119 g slash kilometer. There's also a new front-wheel drive 118BHP 1.5 liter diesel, which manages 64.2 mpg and 115 g slash kilometer. That should prove a fleet favorite, but it's still not as economical as the 1.6 diesel in the new 3008, which also boasts 118BHP, yet returns 70.6 mpg in mixed driving. Still, aside from slightly high fuel consumption, we can't complain about the 2.0 liter engine in our car aside. It's reasonably quiet, smooth, and powerful, with plenty of torque for in-gear overtaking. It'll be decent for towing, too, with 370 nm of torque and a maximum load of 2,100 kg. The Kyuga still has a big 456-liter boot, 
while the rear seats fold down easily to reveal a 1,603 liter load area that's nice and flat. The Renault Katjar has a bigger standard load space, but total volume with the seats folded is actually a bit smaller. There's plenty of rear legroom in the Kyuga, too, so it still makes for a practical family car. On the equipment list you'll find toys such as adaptive cruise control, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration, a touchscreen sat NAV, powered tailgate, electric heated seats, a heated steering wheel and some neat alloy wheels. It's a generous spec count, actually, and at the right price it's one of the Kyuga's biggest selling points. Key Specs Model, Ford Kyuga Titanium 2.0 C 150 odd Price, £27,445, EST Engine, 2.0 liter 4 CYL diesel Power slash torque, 148 bhp slash 370 nm Transmission, 6 speed manual, front wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour, 9.9 seconds Top speed, 119 miles per hour Economy slash CO2, 54.3 mpg slash 135g slash km. On sale, now.